As Filipino Heritage Month continues, we're here in Manitoba, which is home to the largest Filipino population per capita in the country. So what is it about Manitoba that has encouraged the Filipino community to come here and make the prairies home? It's definitely not the weather, but uh, the topography of Manitoba is, reminds them of the countryside living back in the Philippines, because most of the Filipinos came from different parts of the Philippines, mostly in the rural areas. Dante Aviso came to Manitoba with his parents in 1984 and says the province's rural landscape was familiar to many Filipinos arriving, like himself, who chose to stay and make Manitoba their home. Aviso says the first major wave of Filipino migration to Manitoba occurred in the 1950s when a number of nurses and doctors arrived. That was followed a decade later by a surge of Filipino immigrants who came to work at garment companies when Winnipeg had a thriving clothing manufacturing industry. And then in the 90s, uh, the Manitoba government introduced the uh, Manitoba nominee program, where there was uh, also an influx of Filipino families here in Canada who were able to uh, sponsor their relatives, their even to their cousins. To my surprise, there were so many Filipinos waiting for us in the, in the airport. Rod Cantavaros came to Manitoba with his wife in 1974, with no expectation he would spend the rest of his life here. Now at 80 years old, Cantavaros still remembers the surprise he felt stepping off the airplane at 3 o'clock in the morning and being greeted by a large group of Filipinos. Cantavaros says the tight-knit nature of the Filipino community in Winnipeg decades ago is what continues to attract Filipinos to the area in large numbers today. We are more, we are much closer to each other, unlike, unlike the traditional Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, they were spread out. In terms of the Philippines in Winnipeg, where we are much closer in terms of relationship. The, the Filipino community, of course, is a huge part of Winnipeg's fabric now. Dr. Roland Sawatsky, curator of history at the Manitoba Museum, says a newly developed exhibit on display at the Winnipeg Gallery celebrates the stories of immigrants, including those from the Philippines. Perla Havate is featured in the exhibit. She moved to Winnipeg in 1976 and began working in the Winnipeg School Division. Havate is well known for promoting Filipino culture. And she was a big part of bringing uh, the um, Heritage Month to Winnipeg. Uh, in 2019, so she's uh, been just a huge leader in the community. We're glad to have her on our wall. As for Cantavares, he expects the population of Filipinos in Manitoba will continue to increase, and the province will continue to be home to the most Filipinos per capita in Canada. It will grow expon exponentially. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.